Dean's dustbin. Here we are on day three of the build. Um, we left off with skull number four and part of skull number four and its modifications is it has to be turned into a leg before I can finish the modifications. So if you remember from episode one we got our little base plates. Now what I did is already is put the skull on its plate. We got a dowel rod. So Grab that from over here real quick. Now well, we got the dowel rod. Anyway, took it, shoved it through, lined it up, pulled the skull up, and we figured where the dowel rod's gonna sit. Now, since we're using uh, solid oak uh, dowel rods, these aren't gonna be easy to screw into. So, first thing we need to do is we need to make a pilot hole. Basically, I need to make a pilot hole in here so that I can guide myself from the underside and know where to put the pilot hole on the bottom. So, depending on what size screw you need, depends on what size uh, drill bit you need for a pilot hole. Either way, first things first, we got a little bit of a wood block underneath it so I can drill down into it. I'm going to aim for about center ish. And. Handy dandy pilot hole. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna line that sucker up and all I'm doing is kissing this thing so now I have a mark. Now I don't have to worry about figuring out where this pilot hole goes. We got a pilot hole, lines this sucker up. Now, got this lovely, and I highly recommend them, ratcheting screwdriver. So, we are going to, from the bottom side, throw our wood screw through the pilot hole. Hope upon hope that. We got it lined up, which looks like we did. And we are just gonna drive her home. Got a base plate. Throw the skull on. And boom the bar. We got a beginnings of a leg. Now one thing I need to do in general is I need to mark off on this skull where the skull actually comes up. Now that we got a line, hey look, mom's here. Um, now that we got a line, what I need to do is I need to paint this black so that it's inside the skull 
and you won't see it that much. So I'm gonna say hi to mom and then we'll uh, go from there. Hey mom. All right, so now that mom's gone, uh, we're back. Uh, according to her, she didn't look appropriate for uh, being on camera. I reminded her that I'm wearing a concert t-shirt, dirty shorts, and my hair is wild, but no. Anyway, so in the process of uh, mom being here and chit-chatting, uh, I took all the uh, legs here, um, measured around where they'd be, painted them like I said. So now we got one of the legs. Now the other aspect, um, I like fire. I'm a little bit of a pyromaniac, can't help it. But um, I want to now, that this is gonna be the black side inside the skull, um, I want to burn going up. So, easy peasy. Got a little blowtorch. So, let's just burn this real quick. And yeah, it's gonna be one of our table legs. Flap a skull on top, screw it in the bottom. Now we gotta work on skull number four. Hmm, that one's a doozy. Let me go get set up. All right, so we got our uh, old friend skull number four here, the punk rock skull. Um, this one's gonna take a lot of modification in general uh, because if you remember, we got that back part of the plate that we're gonna have to build up the skull, carve it down. We'll have to repaint that. Um, the other part though is uh, it's a punk rock skull. It needs a mohawk. And we got a special mohawk for this sucker right here. Now to start with, the first thing we gotta do to work with number four here is uh, we need to get that thing attached. And every single skull is gonna be attached the same way. Uh, I have a uh, gorilla uh, contact epoxy here. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to simply coat and run a line on the bottom of this thing. That will then give us a contact to the plate, keep it secure. Uh, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff here. We're not really doing anything fancy. We are just going to lube this sucker up. Gingerly without touching the sides, shove it through the hole, and square it up. And now our friend skull number four is on its way. Uh, so that is unfortunately going to take a little bit of time to set up, but in that process, we're going to move on to its mohawk. Uh, let's set this aside over here. Now, we're going to make a special mohawk, and the mohawk is going to be made out of live round bullets. Now, I'm smart enough to not attach a live round to this uh, skull, but what we're going to do is we first thing we got to do is we got to separate the bullet from its casing. So, all you got to do if you don't have one of those fancy uh, machines to actually, you know, make your own bullets and do all that stuff. Uh, get some little bit of tape. Just going to make sure we don't scar up the brass. I'm going to put some on the bullet itself and some down here on the casing. And then all you need is two pairs of pliers. So, one gonna hold on to there. The other one we're gonna grip the bullet. Let's see how I can do this. We're just gonna work it out. Oh. Well, that's good. We're just gonna I have to redo this. I swear the other one I did came out a hell of a lot better. Well, clamp, clamp. There we go. Got that moving. There, we're just 
going to dump the gunpowder in there. And then what we're going to do is, since I don't want the uh, primers inside, I'm going to take this little barbecue skewer. We're going to find out just how far down there that primer bottom is. So now we actually know how far down the primer is. And what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to take this, measure it, we're going to knock it back, and then I'll take a hacksaw and then we're going to cut that up. As for the bullet itself, I'm going to take the bullet and unwrap it. And then what we'll do is we'll get some uh, super glue and we'll just Put it right back inside. Looked like a real bullet. So, we'll do all that off camera because boring work. See you in a bit. So, I got to share this funny little story. Uh, so, the original plan, as I said, I don't want live rounds. I didn't want the primer in there. So, I was going to take a hacksaw and just cut off the butt end of it. That way, the uh, art project doesn't have anything uh, active inside it. Uh, I tried doing it with a hacksaw, and I'll be honest, I don't have a vice. So, it was difficult. I called up my Uncle Bob. I was like, hey, Bob, uh, you got any way to cut the ends off of this? He's like, oh, I might have something. So I go over to Uncle Bob's house. Uh, my Uncle Scott's there, too. And I show him the, uh, the rounds, and we all head out to the shop. And uh, we get out there, and Uncle Scott's like, you know what I'd do? If I had a gun to fit that, I'd just fire him blanks. Get rid of the primer that way. You don't have to cut anything. And Uncle Bob's like, gives me an idea. So what I Uncle Bob did... Mind you, he doesn't live in the country. He lives in town. Uh, he threw these rounds into a vise, grabbed a hole punch, and a five pound hammer. And as you can see, I think, yeah, he uh, dry fired them that way. Uh, as we came out of the uh, shop, I saw my aunt, and I'm no dummy. I just instantly, wasn't my idea. Wasn't my idea. So, my uncles, 60, late 60 range, giggling like school kids, they confessed. But don't worry, these aren't live anymore. So now that we have that going and we got some kids screaming next door, go well, back to what the original plan was. So I just got some uh, good old glue here, uh, some Loctite super glue. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue up the bullet head. Ignore the screaming child. Put her back in place. And wipe up the glue. So now we have a bullet that we're going to use. So just got to do it eight more times. Tedious. I'll be back in a sec. Now, if you're as old as I am, you grew up on Looney Tune cartoons as well. I always remember in Looney Tunes, you'd have the gunpowder, the line, go back to a barrel. Thing always burned quickly. Oh, today, just out of curiosity, we're gonna see what happens. Yes, I'm doing this safely. Yes, there is a hose right next to me. But I've always been curious. Did the cartoon lie to me? So, let's find out. Apparently Bugs Money is full of crap because uh, I'm pretty sure I could walk and beat that to the end of a uh, line where the gunpowder barrel is gonna explode. So, yeah, yeah, my childhood's a lie. My childhood is a lie. <sighs> Alright, back to work. Alright, so the glue is set up on skull number four. Now we gotta rebuild that back end. Guess what I'm using? Hey look, steel stick. JB Weld, if you're out there, sponsor me. Send me some shit. Love it. Anyway, uh, got this stuff worked up. Now, the goal is to 
make. Uh, yeah, you can't see it. Oh well, there's only so much I can do. There's no cameraman. So my goal now is to kind of just press this stuff in. We're gonna make a new back to this thing that then with a Dremel tool I will carve out and create what I need it to be and then we just gotta repaint it so I'm kind of just doing the best I can here and squishing it in kind of like if you're playing with play-doh or something it's not gonna be a hundred percent great but again you're it's gonna be underneath the thing so it's not like anyone's really gonna be climbing in there and checking out all the things I did in the back side of this stuff so I'm not as worried about this kind of aspect. Don't get me wrong, I mean you want it to look good, but at the same time I'm not concerned if there's a little bit of imperfection based on the fact that, well, someone screwed up on the hole drilling part at the beginning and is now flat out winging it. Uh, but as I said, improvise, adapt, overcome. And right now, I think we're improvising pretty dang good. And ultimately, we're going to overcome this thing. And nobody's going to know. Well, assuming they watch this eventually, they'll know. But for now, yeah. Now we got a new base plate in the back. Hides where we had to cut things out. And as soon as that uh, cures up, I'll be able to take a Dremel tool to it. We'll smooth it down. I'll do all that off camera. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to Dremel that, smooth it, paint it. Either way, it's happening though. And you know what's happening. And no one's half the battle. Go, Joe. So that's going to be the end of day three, part one. We'll pick up again on uh, part two. But uh, for now, I kind of wanted to stop because I'm getting into those bigger numbers for uh, time on these things. If anybody wants to see like the 30 plus minute videos, let me know in the comics section. I don't know. I'm just trying to be uh, conscious of how long these things take. So this is me signing off from Dean's Dustbin. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we will see you next time. Later.